quick little tutorial on how to chop up a sample in Logic. Now, I haven't seen any tutorials on how to do it this way. You know, it's not the... There's a thousand sampling tutorials in Logic on YouTube with the Playhead and the Scissors tool, but this one's a little bit different, all right? So I got myself a little loop here. It doesn't really matter if it if it loops correct. It, this has not, it has nothing to do with that. Just to show you. Highlight this audio region. We're going to go up to the sample editor window. Okay, <clears throat> so now we're in the sample editor window. What I'm going to do here, and is the unique part of chopping this way, is I'm going to hit this button here. This is the transient editing mode. What this necessarily does is it puts transient markers on your audio region. So when you want to use flex time, you place flex points at the transient markers and that's where you're gonna, you know, stretch and shorten your audio. But we're actually gonna use it a little bit differently here. So when I click this, Logic is gonna place transient markers wherever it sees a transient. Now, since this is a full orchestrated piece of music, it's not just a drum loop or a guitar or a flute. It's gonna have a little trouble. It's gonna be putting transient markers in a lot of different places. But what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to take them all off and put my own in anyway. So I'm going to hit this here. And I think I already did that anyway. But So there's no transient markers. But normally when you hit that and you get an audio region, there's going to be a lot. And up here you can press the minus and the plus sign to take them off and put them on. So you just go crazy on the minus sign. You can take them all off or you can go around. And if you double click a transient marker, it goes away. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to command, command click, the command brings up my draw tool, my pencil tool, and I'm going to stop putting in my own transient markers that I want to put in. Put one there, put one there, and another quick tip is that if you control click, I have snap edits to zero crossing enabled, meaning that wherever I put a transient marker, it's going to snap to the, to the nearest transient. So the advantage of doing it in this window instead of in the arrange window is if I go right here and I put you know the playhead right on the two and I slice it it's gonna slice right on the two it's not gonna slice in the transient this if I put the the transient uh, the draw tool here it's gonna snap to the closest transient because you can see how close I mean how, how much space there is between the actual start of bar two and the transient so that's another little helpful tool to do. So I'll place one there, I'll place one here, and I'll place one there. All right, so what do you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I like to cut in musically by bars and beats and stuff, but the good thing about this is that you don't have to do that. You can just put them anywhere you want. You can put your own ones anywhere you want. Works very similar to, you know, recycle where you place your own points. Or I use an MV8800 drum machine by Roland, and it does the same thing. You get a piece of audio, you can place a point where each slice is going to be made. So now here is where the magic happens, right? So now I have my audio region highlighted. I'm going to turn on flex mode, and I'm going to turn on slicing. Now I'm not sure, but I think you can use any one of these. I'm just going to turn on slicing. So now what I'm going to do is... Control and this third option right here, slice at transient markers. This motherfucker right here don't change the game when it comes to sampling and logic. You know what I mean? So click that, bang. So now the audio region is sliced where I placed the transient markers. <clears throat> slice at transient markers is the shit. So what I'm gonna do, come up, highlight them all, come down to audio. Again, just like you've seen in, in millions of logic sampling tutorials, convert region to a sampler instrument, and it's going to put them on the ESX24. And now I have an ESX24 sampler instrument with all those chops on it. So a little alternative way <clears throat> to chop up samples, you know, different from the scissor tool and a split it playhead. Happy chopping, my friends.